Hello, professionals. Let's try to understand when you compared with EC3 or R by 3 version pricing changes, what exactly we can able to find in S4 HANA changes. Okay. Simply saying the pricing differences between S4 HANA versus your ECC. Okay. Let's try to check this. So field length. So certain fields length got increased. Okay, I can able to show you some four to five field lengths. It increased up to 24 characters or something like that in the respective tables. But what functions we don't require, it doesn't make any difference, but it is useful for evapers. Okay, next one, access sequence length got increased. Let's, let me go back and let me try to show you v slash 07. So, if you come here, test access, I'm just creating. You'll get inside of this. You can see previously it is two digits. You can able to enter three digits. Okay. For example, one I'm just keeping the table. Okay. Now it is allowing. So I'm just doing the field determination. So this is how. So that means probably like uh, whoever, like, you know, they're doing a huge businesses, huge scenarios. They required more than two digits access sequence. They might have requested or else it might be the request from ECC world customers. They have you know, disappointment on this field length. That's why this number, it is got increased. This is one key change, okay? I'm just saving this one. Let's go back to the slide, okay? Field length and SN access sequence. See, KONV almost gone. What is the big change? What is this big change actually, okay? Let's try to go back. Let me try to create a sales order. I'll show you. If you are not aware, you can learn this one also. Okay. I'm just saving this sales order. Let me try to incomplete uh, as make it as a complete okay pricing itself incomplete okay what is this mandatory So let me take this sales order. Okay, in this PR zero zero is missing. Go to the conditions. Maybe let me put here zero zero as under okay now let me try to check edit incomplete log hamburg well let's go back now document is complete, I'm saving this. How it is relevant, okay? So let's go to SC16. The table is VBAK, okay? So what is our uh, sales order? It is 219. Two 
one nine. Okay, let's uh, try to execute this. Okay, probably let me try to. So I see sixteen. Okay. So if you come here, Control F. Okay. So or else I need to search like this. Control F it is not working. I do one thing, I'll take the same sales order. Let me try to open SC16N. It is more flexible. Okay. Control F K and U and V. You can see this. All your conditions will be stored in this. This is document condition record. Okay. Uh, deselect this. Okay, I'm selecting this one. You see this length and all. So, control F, P, K, O, R, G. I'm typing, I'm select this. Okay, execute this one. So now you can see for the sales organization distribution channel, this is a document condition record. Previously, what happens in ECC version, if you come here, SC16, and again, okay, so the table is KONV, it is going to store the document condition records okay if i execute this no value is found this table is complete completely replaced with another table called okay so almost gone what is the big change i'm going to show you now okay this is very very important if you are attending s4 hana interviews or else someone is asking what is the basic difference in pricing okay so this document condition record table in ECC version, it is it 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 is used to store in K N K K O N V. Now it is got replaced with one more called P R C D underscore elements. Okay. Let's copy this. Now execute this. Okay. So it's a bit slow. Now you can see previously PRG is zero. Okay, whatever the value we entered and uh, your cash discount and VPRS, these are the condition type got triggered. That's why it is showing this one PRCD underscore elements. Previously, it is like you know, basically it's a view table. Let me try to open in SC11. Okay, so let's display this. You can see this the client key structure and everything okay so here you can see some fields like uh, they have increased the length with 24 and all previously it was not that much length when you compared with your ecc version okay so basically what it will do if you are giving some logic either billing document level or sales order level prcd underscore elements is the key table when you compared with your ecc version as kynv table okay this is clear 100%. There is no doubt on that. Okay. So let me try to show you. PRCS. Okay. Let me. You can see this. This is also similar kind of pricing underscore element stable only. PRCD underscore element is much faster when you compare this one. There is something called price cookbook that actually, you know, given by SAP, whoever try to work newly on S4 HANA versions. So this is not a big deal. 
they can handle it even uh, for your functional logic also you can able to handle it okay uh, let's go back what is the final chain 17 fields in pricing procedure this i already uh, mentioned somewhere let me try to show you okay so now let's try to go to our standard pricing procedure select this now you can see this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 columns are there previously in ecc you have a 16 fields but whereas you can see one more they have added relevant for account determination this is one of the key field okay so let's click this click on f1 so let's try to read this say define whether a statistical price condition is relevant for account determination or not this previously you we used to handle in condition type definition probably you can able to find the same field so in pricing procedure like you know the pricing condition is statistical only a selector for selling you can also select account key the defined two accounts uh, the accrual key is not taken into account okay you use indicator to define statistical price condition for example you have taken a certain condition type which you are not going to add to your net value but that uh, value you might be you know post to your accounting side your profitability analysis or general entry uh, extension or something like that so it is simple any value if you take uh, warranty delivery cost surcharge or discount or commission you define but you'd like to post into copa copa is one of the finance module controlling and profitability okay so that is the thing okay like if you'd like to post it you can able to do it so what is our pricing procedure okay so let me try to check if anything is available for account assignment i'm just take for this one okay now what we are here this is for accuracy this is account key and this is from one two so where is this so account determination relevant for account determination let's try to select and go on filter uh, probably i'll just try to check any standard conditions no no nothing is there so then we'll give it a try no problem so these are the basically key changes so how it works i will show you in my next session okay currently i'm holding uh, 2466 students uh, for my Udemy courses this is uh, 71 hours sometimes it might be more than that i will try to add a few more topics this is at ecc level and uh, SD pricing concepts, whoever having any doubt, they can able to explore this course at a basic level. For advanced level, I'm doing a new course, uh, which is going to be live by another 10 to 15 days. Okay. Or else maybe tomorrow also, I'm not completely sure. So I'll just go for a live for advanced concepts and I'll try to add new concepts. Later, you can able to join that. So if you, if you are not at introduced as for HANA simple logistics business partner concepts, you can go through this course. It is hundred uh, percent will be added advantage for you. Why? Because so internal number range and external number range, you are aware of that. Whatever the object you take, either you are from FSEO or either from your SD background or you are from MM background. This is the common master data CVA integration. 
So here I explain three scenarios: external number range, internal number range with the same number and different number. So one more course available for rebates. And this is a course specifically useful for whoever the beginners who would like to get into the real time how to write a functional specification. So last four to five videos I explained live scenario how to write a functional specification. If you are from uh, this, I explained for SD scenario. If you want, you can able to uh, map accordingly for your MM and uh, FSE requirements. This is S4 HANA 1909 FSEM credit management. Uh, so like, you know, stock transfers and a few other courses, which is get into the picture. This is SAP S4 HANA intercompany sales and consignment sales. If you'd like to learn, you can go through it. This is a course for end users. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day.